I'm Ty Paddington from Showbiz News and News. Event Sevenfold steamed up the charts earlier this year with their hit song, Bat Country. Now they are on tour with the Prince of Darkness himself, Ozzy Osbourne, headlining OzFest. I sat down with the boys to find out more about their new album, City of Evil. So, Johnny Christ and the Reverend, you guys have some interesting names. Where'd you come up with those, Sunday School? Well, Ty, you know, we all uh, grew up together, and uh, we all gave each other nicknames way back in the day, and they just kind of stuck. Right, Reverend? Hell yeah, except you weren't in the band when we made <laughs> our name. Hey, thanks for that made-up story, Johnny. Lying always makes for a great interview. <laughs> Poser. Moving on. Now that you guys are so huge, how do you guys treat the fans that look up to you so much? Well, Ty... We give them the special Axl Rose treatment. What? You give them a Cleveland steamer? Oh, wait, that was Rod Stewart. No, Rod drank the semen. Oh, never mind. Hey, I'm sorry, guys. What were you saying? You know, we're always really polite and respectful. If uh, Just like our idols were to us. That's the, that's the way it should be. Respect, you know? Yeah. Respect for all the young musicians and all the kids who are really dedicated to us. We love you guys. You know, that was so sweet. I'm about to cry. <laughs> No, seriously, what the f***? What am I on, Oprah here? Hey, Johnny, you guys are no stranger to MTV. Let me pick three chicks from TRL. Hmm, Lindsay Lohan, Kelly Clarkson, and Hilary Duff. Which one would you guys like to shag? I'd probably have to say Kelly Clarkson, because I bet you she'd hit a high note. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Johnny comes up with a zinger. <laughs> Loser. Okay, moving on. You know what would go great with your sound? The cowbell. You guys should try it. The only thing that I like about cowbell is, is walking. that Christopher Walken said it. We sail without it. Wow, the way this interview is going, it's just so stimulating. I wish you would both die. Seriously, just die right now. Then when you die and you're standing at the pearly gates of heaven, God says to you, you must choose between an eternity in a gentleman's club or a live music club. Which do you choose? Quick, which? I have to go with gentlemen's clubs. Yes, I believe I'd have to go with the gentlemen's club as well. And I hope they have heavenly big tits there. For 10% of your life, sex is more important than music. Well, reverends, if it's only 10%, why do you guys want to choose the gentlemen's club so bad? I've never been to one, that's why I want to go really bad. I want to, I want to be there. Wow, <laughs> you guys are losers. <laughs> that was kind of awkward. I guess the new age of rock and roll includes having friends that date Hillary Duff, liking TRL, and never going to strip clubs. Do you guys even know what rock and roll is? What was Ozzy thinking? <sighs> Redeem yourselves. Tell me a favorite moment on the tour. We have a giant flying death bat, and he spits out CO2, which um, depletes all your oxygen, and I got, a, I got a little blast from that and passed out. I forgot what I was doing. So there was a temporary hiatus in, in, the, in the first song of the show. Oh, yeah, the bat. Dude, I was doing whippets off that thing's ass for like two hours before this interview. <laughs> that bat rules. Wow, actually, I'm so high right now, I have to stop the interview. Woo! That was, um, enlightening. Thanks, Johnny Christ and the Reverends. Make sure to pick up Avenge Sevenfold's album, City of Evil in stores now. Yeah.